Hey guys, how are you doing? Are you ready for some Christmas DIYs? Well, I'm ready to show them to you. Today, today I'm doing a couple DIYs and they were inspired by Joanna Gaines. And one is a Jingle Bell Garland and the other is a wreath. So I hope you'll stay tuned for that. So without further ado, let's get started. what I was looking you know big thing right now is uh, hearth and hand I think that's it hearth and hand isn't it uh, Joanna Gaines anyway I was looking at Target and there was a couple things that I liked but my store didn't have them and uh, you know I know she's going to be coming out with different uh, themes of things in her line and I read that she has a five-year contract with them so I'm not feeling the real jump to have to go get something just because it's out um, like I say there were a couple things that I did like that uh, I could have used in my decor but uh, they didn't have it at my target they didn't have a lot at my target actually but I did go on to Magnolia which is her website and I saw something there that I wouldn't pay $20 for, but I definitely would do a hack on it. And it was so easy. And again, so many times I see this stuff, you guys. And I think to myself, why couldn't I have thought? I mean, how easy, how easy, how simple, you know? And I don't know. I just, I'm always amazed at the minds that think these things up. I really do kudos to them because so many of them are such cute ideas and I just wished I could come up with them. it could really be my idea but it's not so I am going to do my own take on what I saw and I'll insert a picture of what I saw on her website so what it was were jingle bells on twine and that was it I think it was five or six feet now I am not sure exactly how they put them on it kind of looks and I don't know but it kind of looks like they took the jute and then took the uh, jingle bell and maybe wired it just on to the jute itself you know sure but what I'm going to do because it's easiest and the fastest I'm just going to string it through but I'm not going to use these little ones now from what I saw they had um, gold and I can't remember what the other color was I don't know if it was like uh, I don't know if it was like a copper or what it was but nevertheless for my home this year, as you know, um, the DIYs that I've done, if you've watched any of them, my decor is whoops, my decor is more of the brown, the old, like, vintage farmhouse. So this is what I'm going to use for mine. And again, I'm not going to wire them through because if I want to use these bells for something different, maybe next year, all I have to do is unstring them. But I think I'll probably leave them just because I really liked the look of it. What you can do, and again, I'm just messing around and you're coming along with me, um, is you could tie it off each time you put one on if you want it to stay in one particular uh, place. Since this is so fast, it wouldn't take me any time to take these off again if I wanted to do something like that. I just I want to see how it does without me doing anything to it besides just uh, threading them in. I love these brown bells and they have bigger ones too I think at Hobby Lobby but these are fine and these will work for what I am going to use it for. 
And I've used these for a few things, actually. Sorry for the jingle. But when you're working with jingle bells, I guess that's what you're going to get, isn't it? I might keep one of these bells out for my... So here you go. Here's what they look like so far. Cute. Very, very farmhouse. Very, very rustic. I'm liking it. Yes, I am. Now, what you could do with these bells, the little ones, you could also put one in here so they don't go completely together. Because I think you might have that problem in... That's probably, now that I'm looking at this, that's probably what they did. And when I insert the picture, you can see yourself and see maybe. I think that they did wire it individually so they wouldn't all go together. I think that's, that's what it was. Again, all I would do if I decide to is to tie each of them off as I go. But the thing is with tying it, it may have quite a big space in between if you don't try to stay kind of uniform and that's what I'm trying to get away from. I am going to do a couple of them. Okay, so. So 36. That's 3 feet. I don't know how long this is. I'm just winging it. So this will be the first one. Okay. Now, you're not going to be able to see this whole thing. I know that. But see how these three are kind of clumping together? <clears throat> That's what's going to happen if you don't tie them off. So now I have to think, do I want to tie them off? And then maybe on the next one I make, do I want to add these jingle bells to it? I wonder, oh, I don't know though, because then that might make it permanent. I was thinking if I could hot glue just a little bit here and then pull the jute up. What do you think? Do you think it would hold it good enough to where I wouldn't have to tie it off, but it would hold it well enough? And what about that? See guys, we're learning together as I go here. <clears throat> You know what? I think, you know what guys? I think I am going to do that. I'm, I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to try this and I'm going to kind of, like I say, I'm not going to make them all uniform, but at least to where they're not, you know, clumping together. I decided what I'm going to do. I am going to glue and I'll show you and just ever so slight amount of glue. I don't want it getting on top, but see, it comes right off the metal. So that is how I'm going to do it. I'm not going to tie it off because the glue, you can just pull it and it will come apart. So I'm going to eyeball it. I'm not going to measure it or anything like that. I'm just going to eyeball it. And with my, here, let me get my glue gun on the other side of this. Are you loving me yet for all the jingling? Sorry. And it just so happened that I have 12 here and I have just eyeballing. And I'm, what I'm doing is I'm turning it upside down so the glue doesn't go into the uh, hole because I don't want it to do anything to the actual bell. And then I'm just pulling it. I'm pulling it up. So it's not, and I'm using a very little amount, but I'm putting the glue, well, here, if you can see, but right here, see where that little opening is just a tiny bit and then I'm pulling the jute so it'll just adhere to this top part just a little bit now if you don't have the farmhouse you could still do this with um, you wouldn't have to use jute you could use uh, You could use ribbon, you could use, um, let's see, you could use ribbon, you could use yarn. 
and then you could put silver bells or gold bells or, you know, whatever you wanted. So it doesn't have to be, it just so happens that this is, yeah, that's about right, um, what I'm using, the color and everything that I'm using to decorate with. So um, on the website Magnolia, theirs was just the bell with the jute, just like this, only I think the, the bells, well, you can't really tell, I guess, from a picture, but the bells look, the bells look, um, littler but that doesn't mean they are it just might be the picture this would be cute with even bigger bells actually boy this craft jute sure goes a long way doesn't it I got this at Walmart and it was a dollar I think this was a dollar 99 or something but I can't tell you how much I've used this stuff Thing if they'll stay. Yep, it's staying. I just didn't want them all to fall together, you know, then it's going to defeat the purpose of what I'm using it for, because I'm using it as a bell garland. I run out of jute, and I see that I'm not far enough over here. If I don't have enough jute, I'll just tie a piece of jute on and keep going. I'll show you. I'm not a good baker is I just like to put things together. I don't like to have to measure everything. And, and that's why I think I'm not a good seamstress. Well, I'm not a seamstress by any stretch of the imagination. I like to sew, but I'm not a seamstress. That's why I love rag quilts. Because they always hide a bunch of mistakes. And if you don't cut exactly straight, I could never be a precise quilter. Never. I know I couldn't. You know how you know your limitations on certain things you can do and you can't do? I mean, I think I'm a good cook. I'm an okay baker. Not great. And I think that's the reason. Now, candy I can make. Pies I can make. Uh, well, actually, German chocolate. I'm going to do a DIY on that. Well, I don't know if you call it DIY, it's cooking, but anyway, homemade uh, German chocolate frosting, not the cake. I'm going to use a box cake, but the frosting is homemade. You see? And then I'm just pulling this after I have put the glue into that little place that I threaded the jute through, so it doesn't... They chip me. I don't think there's a bell on this one either. There isn't. Watch. See? That one's fine. The, the other side and this side, there's not a bell in it. Not for corn's sake. Okay. Alright, so there's that. And then I have this piece tied onto my tripod. So I'm going to take this off. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So this side had more jute on it, right? So I'm going to take these two that I took off and thread it onto this side, and then it'll be the size I wanted it. All right, so there you go. All of them now are glued. I can take them apart if I want. But there was no wiring. That would take a lot longer. And hey, if you want to do that, go for it. I just don't. I've got too many things that I want to get done. And I don't have time. I really don't. So there, there's my take on Magnolia. Joanna Gaines, her website. On these. Uh, missed one. Um, her Jingle Bell garland. I just don't know if it would be too much. Well, you know, I think it's okay. I think I'll do one with bows and one without. The other thing you could do too um, is 
you can take the buffalo plaid or whatever um, burlap burlap ribbon buffalo plaid ribbon let me show you um, and in the middle of these you could insert it and make you know what I mean and tie it off or get thinner ribbon if you wanted to make it like a banner you know like you would any banner that when they use uh, material I think this is too stiff it would be way too big um, but the real thin burlap you could go in between these I don't think I'm going to do that but or what you could do is you could take the different color of the twine and you could go in between and tie it off and well I'll just show you um, but you could take and you could just tie it and I mean I'm talking you know a lot so it would make some kind of a statement but put them in between you see what you see where I'm going with that so you could go in between and do a whole bunch that might be cute too so there's different things you can do because you've got this amount of room to go in between all of it um, I think I'm just gonna leave mine the way it is or look you could put these that would be cute okay guys I decided to put the bows for sure I do like the way it looks but I am gonna leave this one just the way it is back with another DIY stay tuned and remember the world's a better place because you're in it don't ever ever forget that talk to you soon guys bye